Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another problem for you. This is from the SMO, so I'm not sure which math Olympiad that is, um, but I found it on the Art of Problem Solving Forum. So it's from the SMO in year 2018. Um, so the way I phrase the problem here is slightly different than uh, what was in that original post on the forum, but the content is essentially the same. Um, so I hope you all enjoy it, and if you'd like to try it, feel free to pause the video. All right, now I'm going to go over it. So we have a triangle ABC. M is the midpoint of AC, and N is the midpoint of BC. Um, o is a point such that angle BOC is 90 degrees, and angle OMN is 90 degrees. And given those two facts, we want to show that angle BAO is equal to angle BCO. All right. So the first thing that pops out to me is that um, angle BOC is 90 degrees. And so um, basically O lies on... on um, a circle with diameter BC, and N would be the center of that circle because N is the midpoint of BC. Okay. So um, I am going to let me go back a step. So we want to show that angle BAO equals angle BCO, but they both subtend a side of the same length. So I mentioned in many videos that if two equal angles subtend a side of the same length, then they have to have the same size circumcircle. And um, one way that we might want to show those angles are equal is to try to make those circles overlap. And so one way I'm going to do this is to construct a point such that um, point D, such that BAOD is a parallelogram. Because then, if that were true, angle BAO would be angle BDO, and we want to show that that's angle BCO. So we want to show that we have a cyclic quadrilateral. So that point might be useful, so I'm going to construct it. All right. So we're trying to show that BDCO is a cyclic quadrilateral. And like I mentioned, uh, the circumcenter of BOC is N um, because O lies on the circle with diameter BC. Um, now, before I put that as a step here, I'm going to uh, drop a perpendicular from N to DO, um, and I'm going to call that point E. And I'll tell you why I'm going to do this after. Okay, so this is what I mentioned before. Angle BOC is 90, so N is the circumcenter of BOC. Now, we want to show that D also lies on the circumcircle of BOC. Um, so, uh, one way to do that is to simply show that, since we know N is the circumcenter, if we can show that ND is equal to NO, then basically all four of these radii would have to be the same. So D would have to lie on the circumcircle of BOC. So that's what I'm going to attempt. Um, so I'm dropping a perpendicular from N to side DO. Um, and I want to, I, like I said before, I want to show that ND is NO. But to get there, I want to show that OE is equal to ED because that would mean that NO is equal to ND. Okay, so how do I show OE is equal to ED? Um, well, first we want to note that this is a rectangle. So uh, it's not too hard to show. So we have one right angle here. Um, we also want to show, so it's given in the problem statement that OMN is a right angle. So that's two right angles. Uh, if we can show this third angle, ENM, is right, then we would be good to go. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. 
Um, so note that that EN is perpendicular to OD, but OD is parallel to AB, and AB is parallel to MN because MN is a mid segment of the triangle ABC. Right? So we have DO is parallel to AB is parallel to MN. So since any is perpendicular to DO, any also has to be perpendicular to MN. So now we have enough to, sh so now we've basically shown that OMNE is a rectangle because we have that this is a right angle, uh, OEN is a right angle by construction because I defined E to be the perpendicular and by the problem statement OMN is a right angle. So OMNE is a rectangle. All right, and so now that means that uh, OE uh, is equal to MN, and MN is half AB, since MN is uh, mid-segment in triangle ABC, and AB is OD, because ABDO is a parallelogram. So I'm going to write this out. Uh, OE is MN, is half AB, is half OD. Okay, so if OE is half OD, then that means OE is ED. And if OE is ED, then like I mentioned before, NO, ND has to equal NO. Um, so basically, since N is the circumcenter of BOC, all four of these segments, ND and B and O and C, have to be equal. And so that means BOCD has to be a cyclic quadrilateral with center N. So BOCD is cyclic. And that, now we're almost there um, because by a simple angle chase, we can get the problem statement. So angle BAO um, is equal to angle BDO because BAOD is a parallelogram, and BDO is equal to BCO since. BOCD is cyclic. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, this is a little shorter than some of the other problems I posted before and I'm planning on probably also posting a few problems with shorter solutions. Um, I figure it's good to have a couple easy ones, you know, just sort of build confidence um, and if you want a little bit of a break one day. So uh, there's a few more I have in mind that I'm going to post. Um, so if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, have a good day, everyone.